So I made a video the other day talking about uh, Microsoft buying or acquiring Activision Blizzard for 68 million bucks. And I was like, well, where does this leave games like Call of Duty when it comes to being on other platforms like PlayStation? I mean, I thought, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Initially, I thought Microsoft is going to take, take Call of Duty away. I mean, if that were me, I mean, you're trying, it's, it's a competitor. What do you expect? But people, but things have definitely changed and today we get into it. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to silly subscribe. Okay, so Microsoft paid 68 billion for Activision Blizzard. So all Activision Blizzard games and all companies underneath the games are basically owned by Microsoft. Now I know I, I'm not going to lie. When it comes to fanboying, Xbox, PlayStation, I'm Xbox all day long, but I still have a PlayStation 5. I understand that there's games on that platform that are incredible that ain't on Xbox and vice versa. But when I saw this, I'm like, good game, good game, Microsoft, good game in purchasing, buying out Activision. And I honestly thought that they were going to strip strip playstation from future activision games like call of duty i'm not gonna lie i was kind of hoping initially initially i was initially hoping that the future call of duties would never see or be on playstation but then i sat there for a minute and think don't be an idiot don't be an idiot we are gamers we are gamers we are together it doesn't matter what platform we play on pc playstation Xbox, we are gamers. I have always stood on the side of the fence where I don't believe console should have exclusivity. I just, especially on games like Call of Duty, uh, when it ain't developed by either Sony or, or Microsoft. But when I saw this, like I said, being an Xbox fanboy at heart, it was something I was hoping they would do initially, initially people. But like I said, I thought about it. Alexa, shut up! She can't, that, that shit constantly. You know what? I'm scared of what I should say to my wife because that shit's listening to me. But yeah, like I said, initially, initially, it's what I wanted to see. But deep down, I don't. Deep down, I don't. I don't want to see either platform running to the ground. What what Sony have done? For the gaming world, arguably, arguably, Trump's Xbox, I'll admit it, PlayStation sells more consoles, PlayStation has better exclusives, <laughs> this is coming from someone who plays mainly on Xbox, and I know if the, the tides were turned, the boot was on the other foot, I know a lot of Sony well, Sony fanboys would be saying the same thing that they hope Xbox don't get any future cards. But like I said, I sat there and thought about it and think, no, actually, I, I want Call of Duty to be that game that sets the standard for games going forward when it comes to exclusivity. Call of Duty can be that game. Because like, like I said, I don't agree with games being exclusive, especially games that are not published or that are created or whatever by Sony or uh, uh, Microsoft, sorry. And now we've had news like this one I'll show you now, which IGN and various other sources have reported on this. Sony stock reportedly took a 20 billion hit after Xbox Activision announcement. Shares fell by 13% in Tokyo on Wednesday. This is the kind of shit I don't like seeing. I don't like seeing don't like seeing this shit but there's some great news to come out of this and it's from phil spencer now if you don't know who phil spencer is guys that's him there can you see that let me zoom in this dude is the head of xbox the head let's go back to that tweet and you'll see what he said there had good calls this week with leaders at sony I confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon acquisition of Activision Blizzard and our desire to keep 
Call of Duty on PlayStation. Sony is an important part of our industry and we value our relationship. Which is, which is truth. That is truth and that's what I like to see. That is what I like to see, people. It, it truly is. So yes, people out there thinking that Xbox are going to strip or Microsoft are going to strip Sony from future Call of Duty games. I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think it was ever going to be the case. I mean, it's kind of stupid if you ask me. I mean, yes, one would question uh, Microsoft's decision in even purchasing Activision for $68 billion. I mean, why would you do that in the first place? I mean, that's a question many people have asked. Understandably, people in the gaming industry understand why. But doing so and then not releasing Call of Duty on Sony uh, platforms like PlayStation would be even crazier. It would be even crazier because the amount of money, I'm not sure how much or how many sales are generated via PlayStation with Call of Duty or how much money is generated in terms of like games and microtransactions and all that but i'm thinking it's probably quite a lot and it's this is just we're just talking about call of duty alone never mind the other games so why would xbox purchase activision and not make money out of playstation surely you would surely you would a massive portion of playstation users money will be going to xbox which is a great thing a great thing now not in terms of xbox having one over on playstation because that's not what i mean whatsoever it just means that i mean it's basically companies working together in a way which it really is like, as phil spencer said here he spoke to the leaders at sony which is a great thing and like i said i hope hope call of duty alexa shut up shut up fucking thing but yeah, I hope Call of Duty is, is that point in time going forward where it is a game which kind of eliminates or at least makes uh, publishers and developers think about exclusivity to a certain console. I mean, if Xbox can go ahead and still allow uh, Call of Duty to be on PlayStation and agree to all existing agreements that they've had, obviously Activision and PlayStation prior to being brought out by Microsoft, I think it's a good thing. And hopefully it sets a standard for the future people it, it's just one of them but yes guys there we have it call of duty will remain on playstation which in my opinion is a great thing because when i'm playing vanguard people and i'm fucking people up on playstation i love it i love it but guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out tell me your thoughts down below on this entire matter and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one